Welcome everyone to AHN Arena on the campus of Peter Sonship High School for, for what is definitely the biggest game this gymnasium has, has seen since it opened three years ago. This is a battle for first place. Peter Sonship coming in here tonight. They knock off the visiting Bethel Park Blackhawks. They get full possession and they win the section title. So let's see what kind of game we're going to have here tonight, Mike. Yes, indeed, Bob. This one's for all the marbles. Yes, and we're is. ready to start. With the Indians controlling. And up come the Indians. Bethel in a man to man. Indians ready for the attack. Indians have that same starting lineup. They've been playing all night, all year, Mike. Uh, Dun Dunbar, McCullough, Miller, Cam Mills, and Jake Ziegler. Mills with the ball. Miller on the top, looks to drive. Gets into the paint, kicks. Miller kicks. So First shot of the game, good. And it's good. Cameron Mills gets the Indians started. Indians come in eight and one, seven and three overall. Bethel Park seven and one, 12 and six overall. Both teams playing pretty well. Shot from the corner. Good box out by Ziegler. And up comes and Here McCullough. we go, we're running and in already. Yep, that's. Just bobbled that's... a little. Dunbar Whoa. hard into the scoreboard. Well, that's the pace we've seen, Mike, all year long. Uh, Peters Thompson just pushes the pace constantly, pushing the ball up the floor. They had a nice break. Uh, McCollum made a nice pass. Mills just couldn't handle it. But they've been doing that all year long. Now, there's no lack of hustle on either of these teams. So the Indians, full court man to man, as they've done all year. Near turnover oh, and a turnover, turnover. now. Here we go. Here comes Ziggler. And it's going to be oh, a travel. Got to travel. I'm not so sure I agree with that one, Mike. I mean, it he was close. He made, he get two touches right, left. I mean, he sidestepped that defender. That looked pretty clean on my, from my view. That was a close one. Indians still lead 3 0. Look for the trap, Ooh, yeah. and we're gonna get a nickel yeah. dimer. Yeah, I mean that's pretty far away from the basket for Jake to try to get a reach on a on a ball handler. Uh, yeah, not unnecessary, but you know with their aggressiveness, you're gonna see that occasionally, and that's 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 the hustle plays. They 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 just put that pressure on 
baseline to baseline. You're going to see Might some of those calls. Residual from a yep. call he didn't yep. agree with. Tough shot off the back iron. Up comes Ziggler. Over to Miller. Oh, he got bailed out by a foul there, yep. Bob. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Ziggler's going to pick up that foul. That's Nick two Brown. quick ones. Yeah, Nick Brown went to make that spin, and I think if he would have just shot it, he was really under the basket. He had no idea where he was. Right. I mean, why, why try to block a shot that a guy's not going to make? The first one's good. Bob, it is fantastic to see this crowd here tonight. Absolutely. It's just the, the energy. This is what Friday Night Basketball is all about. Oh, yeah. Easily the biggest crowd of this by far, this student arena's section, history. Student section especially. Knocks them both on. Nick Brown. A little bit of pressure by Bethel Park on Peters Township as well. Dunbar gets into the foul lane area. Miller Miller's for three. It deep one. It's, oh. Rolls in and out. Up come the Hawks. Good defense by Mills. Blackhawks look to set it up. Kick into the corner, three is up, and it Good. rattles home. Number 11, Michael Matt Mathias. Looked like a pretty good release. 5-3 Blackhawks. Miller keeps his driver, gets across. Dunbar with a ball fake, jump stop, he gets stripped clean, and it's gonna be a tie up. Hawks ball. So I got some substitutes, uh, Mike. Uh, Aspen Wall's in the game. Dylan Donovan, Donovan's in the game. Mickey Vaccarella's in the game. McCullough stays in with Dunbar. Dunbar. He's going to tie it up, and it's the yeah, Indians zero. Yep. Aspen Wall getting on the floor, getting dirty. No doubt the Indians would like to see Dunbar get it going. Obviously doing it on the defensive side without any issues. I'd like to see him get into the scoring column. Got a little two-three zone now. Just off. Oh. Another tie-up. Indians were lucky to get that one tied up right. because if they didn't, uh, they had an easy Bethel Park and an easy layup down Go the, the other, other side. Yep. 5-3 Bethel Park with 5-13 left in the first. Indians after that first three. Got a little cold. Have not scored. Looked like a little drag of the pivot foot there. Well, it looked like that shot got blocked. That was good defense. Yes, it was looking good to defense. Push him. Easy there's basket. That, that there we, there go. we go. That gets the Indians tied at five. Bethel pushes hard. That's a, that's a turnover. And that's a turnover by the Hawks. Indians ball. A couple more subs in the game. Nick McCullough back in and Miller's back in. So I'll set the floor for you. We got Donovan, uh, Nick McCullough. Aspenwall, Vaccarella. Dropping into the 2 3 zone. The Indians have seen a little bit of zone lately, and, uh, you know, they've had some real success getting the ball into the middle of the zone at the high, the high post area. Uh, see if they can get somebody at the top of that foul key area, get some ball reversals and some high low action against this zone. There it is right there. Turn around Open jumper. Shot by That's Donovan. it. Good shot, good ball movement there. He made, he made me look smart. Yeah, the threat of Miller being able to shoot from anywhere out Absolutely. there really. That opens it up. And the way that Peters Township rotates players in that high post area, it can be anybody. It can be a guard, it can be your forward. And in that situation, it was a guard in the high post and he just turned and faced the basket. He was wide open, knocked down a 15 footer. Yep, McCullough in for McCullough.
We're gonna get a we're gonna get a floor foul. It's gonna be on the get floor. On Miller. Yep. If he would have put the ball up off the glass for a shot, it would have been a two shot foul, but yes, he didn't make the pass. So that's the third team foul against Peters Township. None for Bethel in the early going. <clears throat> oh, here's a steal. Oh. McCullough with the steal and the two. 9-5, Indians. Oh, good pressure out front, good double team. Good ball reversal by Bethel. They Handled didn't do well. anything with it, though. There's a three up. Deep three. A little long. Miller Controlled by Miller, and up he comes. Dribbles out of the double team. There's a kick. Corner three off the end. Controlled by the Hawks. Oh, they're going to get Donovan with a reach in. Yep. Well, you can tell that the kids are uh, a little bit amped up here, Mike. I think with some of these early fouls, some of these early reaches, some of these just not real discipline, but when you're really a little amped up and you got that adrenaline flowing, you're, sometimes you'll make a few of those. They'll settle down. Yep. Only the first foul called on Bethel Park. So we got 9-5 Indians, 3-18 to go in the first. That's just good defense right there. He's moving his feet. He's keeping his hands off. He's doing a nice job. He's close enough. He should be counting. Yep, not now. Near steal. Four, five. That was a close one. Oh. There oh, we go. Oh. I thought Dunbar was going to end up with that one. It looked like he was almost baiting him into it. Well, he was he was reading it from uh, from uh, the secondary, as one would say, with that little bit of ball pressure out front. They've got two guys on a the ball. They get, you know, the rest of the guys got to play a little bit of zone defense in the back. Good defense Ziggler. by Miller. Oh. He called a foul on the drive. It's going to be Peters Township ball. But Miller so, caused that turnover, no doubt about it. So, Bob, what is the on, what is the rule on that for a clear path? Because well, he, if he, I if mean, he's I, not, know, I know it wasn't, but it's you know it was I, close. It was close. If he's not going for the ball, then you could call an intentional, which would be a two shot in the ball. But you know, you know, the way that happened so fast, I mean, it was definitely a. A, a foul on the arm it was in contact with the ball. So I'd have to say that that was the, that was the appropriate call there. Yeah. Yeah, a lot a lot of times you have to wonder, you know, if that without that foul, I mean, it's an easy layup. Nobody's down there. It's just one of those one of those things that happen. I think in high school basketball, I don't know if they have that the kind of it's you know, if you're if you're going to grab somebody from behind, it's going to be an intentional foul and it would be a two-shot foul on the ball. So there's no clear path to the basket type foul. It it would just be intentional. Right. It's always good to have a referee in the in the booth here. Not always right, but I, I know some of the rules. All right, Indians possession. Still 9-5. McCullough looks to drive hard. Goes in, lays it up. It's good. Oh, and he gets the roll. Nice job by Brent, Brendan. He's been doing that Turnover all Turnover by long. the Blackhawks. Up comes Dunbar with numbers. He he's dribbles go in. To the rim and he's going to get fouled. It's and good. he gets it to go. That'll light up the crowd. When he got that ball at midcourt and he started his dribbles, there was no doubt he was going to the rim and nobody was stopping him. There was nobody there to stop nope. him. Nope. He's strong. He's got athletic ability. He can get off the floor. He can finish around the rim. That was a great play by Jack. And he's got and he's got the hops. Jack Dunbar, strong move, puts the Indians up 13-5. Two and a half to go. I mean, it's a 2:30 mark. You think about it. So far in this game, how many possessions we've had versus how many possessions Bethel's had? We're definitely controlling the tempo of this game. Yeah, turnovers have been an issue for absolutely. Good defense again. With the feet, man, he's doing a great job. Excellent job. Good rebound. rebound Mills gets the rebound. Layup off the back, a little hard. Miller kicks. Oh, he gives it away. Dunbar steals Dunbar. it. He's hitting the three, Mike. I'm telling you. Oh. oh. That would have definitely blew the roof off of this building. It would have. Here's a three straight on. Rebound by Jack Dunbar. Dunbar just yep. goes up and takes it away. Numbers for the Indians if they hustle. Mills for three. 
That Boom, was good. There it is. Cameron it is. Mills. 17 5 Indians. Great defense by Mills. Three's up. Another rebound. Oh, they're going to call foul. Oh. Oh, I don't like that call. I do not like that call. Apparently, the student section doesn't like it either. No, they. I think they've, they're very clear in their opinion of that call. <laughs> but, the Bob, all that was was a box yeah, out. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is his left arm might have come out a little bit and wrapped. And if, if the left arm comes out and he wraps around the, the, the defender on fell, the box he, out. To me, he fell straight backwards. And, oh, well, Dunbar steals it anyway. McCullough goes in with his. Baccarelli on the follow Baccarelli cleans Whoa. it up. 19-5, Indians are pouring it on. In the paint constantly, too. All those shots that are on part of this run, except for Mills's two threes, have all been in the paint. Definitely getting to the rim. Something they've been doing all year long. A little fadeaway, no good. An offensive rebound for the Blackhawks. Tough three goes up, and it's an air, almost an oh. air ball, but they don't, Indians don't control it. We're going to get another foul. Get Donovan. The That'll only be. bad news about this first quarter is we're nearly into the bonus. Well, the team fouls, yeah. They're, 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 we're going to be uh, with six team fouls. The next one's going to put them in a one-on-one, and we're, our, we're just in the first quarter. 48.8 seconds to go in the quarter. A lot of action. That's a quick first quarter. Not a many stops. A lot of Indians getting minutes in this first quarter, too, which will pay off later. Oh, he dragged. Oh. I thought so, too. Okay. That's actually one of the better looks they've had yes. in this quarter. Well, I got <laughs> Maybe a little it was too. because of the. Yeah, I got a little help. Indians are going to look to hold it for the last shot. 19-7. 25 to go. Looks like Bethel's content to let them hold it. Yeah, there's no, there's no count yet because he's not close enough, so. Yeah, I'll be starting now. Get away from that 10 second line. Still got time. He's going to call in. in. He yes! Fouled in one. What a great move. Brandon McCullough. Puts I mean, no, it he, in. he got hit hard, too. I mean, that was, that was a heck of a shot. And when you think about it, he started milking the clock with like 30 seconds to go in the quarter. He handled the ball the entire 30 seconds. Went from the left side of the floor to the right side, got into the paint, got fouled, and finished an and one. So great job by Brendan toward the end of this first quarter to give us 21 and possibly 22 points. Yeah, he got hit right in the middle of the chest. Yep. It stopped him, but it didn't didn't affect ah. his shot. And yeah, we got a lane, lane violation. violation. Yeah. All right. The second there one's good. That's his seventh point. Desperation if it goes, and it does not. What a quarter by the Indians. When you come, you come out and, and you know, put up 22 on a, on a, in the first quarter of, a, of a, the biggest game of the season, um, did everything right, maybe a little aggressive with some fouls, but other than that, that's a heck of a first quarter by Peters Township. You know, Bob, early on in this quarter, I was sick thinking to myself, the Indians are one of the higher scoring teams. Well, they are the highest scoring yep. team in 5A and one of the higher scoring teams in the, in the WPIL. All WPIL, yes. And they were stuck at five for a while. They were stuck at nine for a while. All you had to do was blink. Yep. And they put 22 up in the first quarter in the last, no, I mean, yep, the last a dozen three, of that was okay. in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, the last three or four minutes. I mean, you know, defensively, they start creating turnovers and those turnovers lead to one, you know, odd man breaks. You know, their shots they've got, I've counted, they got one, two, three, four, five, eight, eight shots in the paint made. Those are all layups. Uh, and, you know, when you get that many shots at the rim in eight minutes, you know, made baskets, that's that's one every every minute, you know, and that's not counting your other shot attempts. So they continue to get a lot of offensive possessions, and this is why they score so many points. Yeah, and the Indians on the defensive side, they, ever, they give up about – I think it's 55, 56, yep. somewhere in there, which puts them in the uh, 
on the top half of 5A. So it's not like they're a slouch on defense, but to hold this Bethel team to seven points yep, that's is... That's pretty good defense at first That's quarter. impressive. Very, very impressive start. They've got three more quarters to keep it up. So Dylan Donovan on the floor with uh, Sammy Miller, uh, Dunbar, Aspinwall, and Mills. And Bethel Park looks like they're back to man-to-man. -to -man. Yeah, the zone did Dunbar's not treat them well. Dunbar's going to go three. Boom, Dunbar right at the top of the key for three. Inside, outside, pull-ups, it doesn't matter. He can score anyway. Tough shot, but the follow's there, and it's missed. Up comes McCullough. I'm sorry, uh, Miller. Miller. Mills thought about it. Nice pass by Dunbar. Nice ball fake by Donovan. 16-footer just doesn't go. Bethel well, Park. It just, it just seems like Bethel Park's out of sorts. You know, you just read my mind. That was exactly what I was going to say. They, do, they are definitely out of sync. I mean, even that yep. shot. That's a good shot. Yep. That's a three by uh, number, 11. number 11. Michael Mathias. Mathias. But that just wasn't in rhythm. No. Miller with the hero. Oh, Miller. he can't get it to go. Up come the Hawks. Another three's up, no good, controlled by Mills. And up comes the Indians, the Dunbar. He wants it, just off the back. He kept it alive. Mills, give Mills the assist on that. Yes, absolutely, I mean, it, it, you know. Beautiful play, 27-10 Indians. Yep, Miller's gonna draw the foul. Sean Davis, just a little too much to handle around the basket for, for, uh, for Nate. Yeah, once he got that ball in that spot. It was over. You're kind of you're in kind of bad shape. That's Nate's uh, second team foul. That's his second personal foul, rather. So Peters Township's seventh team foul. So Sean Davis to the line. That's his first point of the evening. Three yeah, he, subs for the Indians. He put up a, he put a zero up in the first quarter, yeah. and he's their best player. So the Indians definitely did some good defense against him in the first quarter. But they say you have to play all 32, Mike, so I'm thinking we're going to end up doing that. Yeah. Second one rolls in. Bethel's going to look, look to a uh, little 2-2-1 two -two zone press. See if that bothers the Indians. It sure doesn't look like it. Uh, a little too Man, late, too late. Thing. Turnover. Yeah, they would have been better off pulling that out. Yeah, it was the the, the angle was there, but the, the defense was definitely in you know in position to make that deflection and a steal. Nice move. Number number thirteen, he got right to the rim. That's Benjamin Guffey. And Michael Mathias, that gives him, I believe, that might be ten points for him. Ten of the fourteen. Another turnover. Got the park on a little bit of a run here. Tough shot. Up comes Dunbar. He's got numbers. I don't know. They're letting him play. They're letting that him play. That was a little. Letting him play. He had a player on a wing. It might have been better to dish that. Steal by but there's a nice. Oh, oh and that's he doubled it up. Yeah. That, yeah, that's the, old, that's the old double dribble. Yes. That's textbook. Yes. Which is a shame because there was a basket waiting on the there other was end. A, there was a lead out there. He, who's a, the player was ahead. He That's thought probably about why he doubled. Yeah, he, saw, just, he saw what we saw. Yes, and just mishandled it. And At any rate, Indians 29, Bethel 14. 5-10 to go in the half. And the thing about this game so far too, Mike, is Bethel hasn't gone to their bench hardly at all. So with this kind of pace... When the way Peters Township uses their bench. Right. You know, you get to the late third quarter, fourth quarter, you know, that's going to be a big difference in this game. That's a good point. Another turnover. A lot of turnovers. Yeah, a lot of turnovers. They're very sloppy with the basketball. Miller all the way in. A block. Mills gets it blocked. He, he was out of bounds. He can't come back in. Yeah. Peters Township ball. 
That was a nice that athletic block. Yeah. Well, you know, Cam thought he knocked two down from the other corner. He figured to try one from the other side. You know, just didn't have, just didn't have enough room. Nope. Hey, what's the worst that happens? You inbound the ball. No big deal. A little stagnant here. A lot of stationary basketball players for the Indians right now. McCullough drives in. Oh, he, nice oh great pass nice and cut. cut. Mills makes no mistake that time and finishes. No, a younger player would have panicked in the paint. Probably wouldn't have took his time to, to look for that last cutter. Mills was just on right on time, and you know Brendan just kept his cool and made a nice play, a nice dish. That gives Mills eight. Good block by Aspinwall. Yep, As Aspinwall with the block. So we got the McCullough brothers in. Near steal. They got hands everywhere, Mike. In passing lanes, you know, blocking shots. Deflections are so vital. I mean, that's what creates the turnover in most, most cases. No, I mean, it's just causing, it's causing Bethel Park just to be completely out of their offense and yep. very uncomfortable. Look, just picking up your dribble like that for yeah. no reason. That's a good move, but a yeah. tough shot. He tough made shot. It. He defended well, yeah. But that is a tough shot. 31-16 Indians. McCullough for three. No off the front. Mills rebounded by Mills. And he chases it down back to McCullough. Mills into the lane. Kicks it to McCullough. And it's oh, good. Man. Well, his brother tried and he didn't get it, so he figured I'll take a shot. Yep, at Nick McCullough. Need a little help. That was a definite foul. Probably a good foul. Yeah. Well, if you're going to foul, you got to make sure the guy's not going to shoot the ball. And he did it. And he made sure. He did that. He definitely made sure. Right across the forearm. That's Nick's first. That's the only substitute I see that's coming to the game so far for Bethel is number two. That's, that's Andrew Thomas. You know. You look at these at the foul shots, some of these Bethel players are tugging on their shorts already. So that sends Nick Brown to the line. He's gonna shoot his second. He's got two points so far this evening. Second one rattles home. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have a sub. Number 10 back in the game. He was a, he was one of the starters. So we got uh, Nate Miller and Brendan McCullough with Thomas Aspinwall, Jack Dunbar, and Mickey Vaccarella on the floor. Bethel sticking with their man-to-man. -man. Bethel Park's out with their five starters. Oh, nice cut by Vaccarella. Oh, a lot of contact. Yeah, a little, maybe a little too much traffic in the paint yeah. pass, but still, you got to hang on to it. The Indians have. Blackhawks doubled up right now. There's an open three, deep. Good rebound by McCullough, and up he comes. Dunbar, turn around, can't get the roll. And up come the Blackhawks. Good defense by Dunbar to cut up the baseline. Three is up. In and out. Good rebound by uh, Dockerella, yeah. He's, he just took it away. Yes, he did. Bethel Park gets back on defense pretty well. Miller drives the lane. Well, there we go. He He's got fouled in. It's Wood. Nate Miller. He had a little stutter step around the foul line, and the guy rested, and then he took an, an extra burst of speed. He got all the way in, and he definitely had a foul on him, but he great move. He froze him and yes, got did. by him, and then when he went to – when he went to foul him, yep. all he's going to do is hit the back of his yep. back of his shoulder blades, and it's yep. an easy layup at that point. I saw Nate before the game, and you know, 
everybody gets a shot at having a big game. And I said, maybe tonight's your turn. You know, and he's, he's starting off pretty well here tonight. Doing good things defensively. Got an and one on that play. Gets a little rest. Two oh two mark. Oh, you know, we're up twenty, you know, and Bethel Park's just having a hard time scoring. I'll be honest with you, I did not see that coming tonight. No. I mean we still have a half a basketball to play, but right. And Out the ball bounds. goes yeah. on the baseline and it's another turnover. Well, it's another turnover. They've got to have close to double digit turnovers. I I'm I'm shocked. I was just uh, expecting a a cleaner game. A cleaner but tight. I mean I yeah. thought this was gonna be a dog fight. I really did. And it may still be, but first half, absolutely not. No. The Indians have outplayed Bethel Park in every facet. Had Mills on the back cut, but chose not to. We're down to a minute 40. Turn around, Dunbar jumper, with a good. tough one, but he gets it to go. He is just so hard to guard because he can score so many ways. Hey, he's got such such They're vertical. Yep. I mean, he's got, I don't know what his vertical is, but it is some. Something big. You know, Brendan gets away with that an awful lot. Yeah, the and, reach around. And, yeah, and you know, as, as a as a old school coach, I never liked that because when you when you're playing defense from behind the guy, you're either going to get sometimes you're going to get the foul, and other times he's going to get around you. And now your defense is at a you know disadvantage because you're behind the play. He gets a couple steals occasionally as well. I'm not I'm going to give him credit for it, but every once in a while it's the foul or, or the guy beats him too. So. Well, Old school coach, I don't like that play. No, and you know what? You know what I call that? It's my own personal. I I call it old man defense. Because yeah. to have yep. to be in a position to do that, you've yep. already gotten beat. You're beat. Now you might have quick hands and you can do something with it, yep. but nobody wants to play that as the first. No. Uh, right. The higher the level of play, you you know, advance to, and when they get into the playoffs and stuff like that, he's gonna be playing against guards, and that, they're gonna get a right. They're gonna beat them. Right. You know, you just have to have discipline, you know, the time and the place. All right, nearing a minute left in the half. Looks like the there Indians are trying to. hit again. Man. Oh, it can't get the roll. Bethel Park with numbers, but they're going to turn, turn, turn it over They're going to turn it over. Yeah, I agree with you, Bob. Miller, uh, there's a strong argument that Miller got bumped pretty hard, and that's he why he missed it. I thought so. So we're under a minute. We'll see if we hold it. 39-17, I don't think it's a bad idea. Yep. Back to McCullough to play dribble and keep away for 46 seconds. Near. Bethel Park could be, you know, they can afford to be aggressive here. They only got four team fouls. They would just be taking the ball out of bounds. He's going to go right through. He got. Oh, oh and he missed a layup. Boy, it looked like he got hit. That was an easy layup. He doesn't miss too many of those. No. Three is up and long, you know, controlled by Mills. Up he comes, and he gets bumped. Block, yep. But as you said, Bob, they've got fouls to give, so it's no big give. deal. You know, I'm watching number 10, that release on his shot. It didn't look all that clean, and as you, if you look down on the floor, he's got his right hand wrapped, you know, some fingers and thumb on that right wrist. I'm just wondering what kind of injury he has uh -huh. that's impacting his shooting. But that didn't really come out of his hand very clean. Yeah, I think the Indians would vote for a uh, status quo here, 39-17, well, halftime. In, 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 in a game where you're battling for first place in section, that's There's over and back. turnover by the Indians. That had to be over and back. And a missed layup, missed tip. Here come the Indians. McCullough goes up. He gets. Oh, my. They're going to call, they're gonna they're gonna call offensive goaltending. Goal yes, offensive goaltending. Wow. A lot of action in the last there 10 was. seconds. Well, the Bethel Park player, when he got that steal, was on the P, and when he passed it his teammate, his teammate was on the T. I don't know how that wasn't over and back. Well, we've got the best seat to see that. 3.2 to go. 39-17. Indians will do well not to give anything up. The shot is up way early. It's good if it goes. Right. It's just a bit outside. Well, when you're when you're playing a game for the for the first place in the section, and you can go into halftime with a 22-point lead, you got to be pretty happy. Absolutely. So, so that we do. Indians 39, Bethel Park 17. We'll be back with you, at the beginning of the third quarter, and we're back for the third quarter. Peters 
up 39-17. Bethel like, Park inbounds the ball. Yeah, same starters, Mike. Uh, Brendan McCall is out there with uh, Nate Miller, Jake Ziegler, Mills uh, being def defending in the post right now. Number z uh, double zero comes out and makes a nice move off the glass. Yep, Sean and, Davis with a nice strong move. Right. And the Indians have to absolutely keep their intensity up. There's there's so much at stake here tonight that absolutely. they just can't let up for one split second. Well, the first three or four minutes of this Mills quarter. Mills in strong. Oh, can't get it to go. Three's up. Short. Up comes Dunbar. Bethel Park gets back very well. Here Dunbar he, hits a 14-footer. He loves elbow that Elbow jumper. He loves that pull-up. Nice soft 13 footer by Davis. That moves him and he's got double digits for the Blackhawks. McCullough goes in hard he and scores. gets the yep. roll. Nice left hand by Brendan McCullough. He has consistently been able to get to the rim all year long. Yes. It's just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's very. Finish. Yeah, he does. And it's surprising to me the teams are playing them that tight after, you know, after he's been doing it all season long. What do we Looks got? Looks like they're going to get that Dunbar was... with one. No, no they're not. Ball. I think they're it's a jump ball. A... I think a jump Travel? ball. Uh, could be. Because we had the ball, we brought the ball in at the, at the quarter, so that must have been a travel. There's no no foul was called. No. Must have called the travel when he landed on his uh, backside. McCullough goes in again, kicks it. Ah. Uh. It was the Looked like that got deflected. I don't know. I guess not. When you look at some unofficial stats from that first half, Mike, I mean, we had, I have us shooting 11 out of 18 from two uh, point field goals and four for nine from threes. So, again, they continue that towards shooting because they get so many good looks at the basket. Yeah. Nice move. Yeah, that, that was, was number a nice, four. Uh, that was Nick Brown. That was a nice move by Nick Brown. That gives him three points for the night. 43-23. Miller for three. Off the front. Blackhawks. Bob, this is that spot in the game where it's the, right we got it. We got to hold them off here. We can't let them back in. I mean, it's a twenty-point game, but if they make a little bit of a run and get it down to ten or twelve, they then start it's a to, ball game. They start to feel like there's some life. Yep. And you're playing for you're playing for a section championship right now. They're not going to quit. Nice pass. Nice pass. Number ten. Nice that was a good dish pass. by Brown to number ten. That's Jack Bruck Bruckner. The Indians need to tighten. They're okay on the offensive side, but they got to tighten up their defense here in the third quarter. I think that's a good time off by and Joe. Coach Urban I mean, agrees. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would guess he's going to be saying the same thing. Yes. Don't don't open the window. Don't let him back in. So we got 5:20 left in the third quarter. 43-25. That's the Indians' first time out of the game. Yes. And well, you might as well use them. You get them, you know, and uh, no, you they, can't carry them over. So I'm thinking they were. I was thinking the Peters bench was feeling like we were feeling. It's yes. just one of those points in a game where things can turn. Well, you think about the th uh, the six points that they've scored here in, in, in for Bethel Park in that quarter. You know, uh, Sean Davis makes a nice move along the lower block area, gets a, gets one a kiss off the glass and a couple layups, and it was a result of some penetration. So. Got to clean that up. Don't let them get easy ones. If they're going to score, make them work for it. You know, and like and like we talked about, their offense was out of sorts because of the Indians' defense. Their yep. offense coming out into the second half looked like they were getting nice, easy shots, and they looked a lot more comfortable. Yep. Dollarman goes in Ooh. near... Dunbar drives in hard. Oh, that's a, oh, oh he got man, hacked. He, got, he sure did. McCullough pulls Little up from pull seven, up. There it and is. there it is. 
Back up to 20 for the Indians, and they're gonna go full court. See if that shakes them up a little bit. At least slow them down a little bit. Three is up, no off the front, controlled by Donovan. He has, he has people ahead. Oh, oh he, he turns waited, it over. He waited too long. Nice play by Brown, but he can't finish. Dylan came back and defended Dunbar well. Dunbar gets it up. There's a nice, nice play. pass. Oh. He gets stripped. That should be Indians. It yeah. is Indians ball. Well, you know what? For a big guy, Asmawa, I'd call him a forward coming down on the left side. He made a really nice dish over to Mickey, and he just kind of fumbled it and he got it knocked out of his hands. But Man, I mean, that was a pretty good play by the defender. It was. Too. It he was. Got a good. He reached back and got all ball. A lot of times, that's a foul. Yeah. But that was a clean. That was clean. Blackhawks in the 2-3 zone. Indians they show that recognize a little bit. it. There's that oh, high. there's a tough pass. Well, you got to meet that pass. Ah, uh, an easy layup. Yep. When you're in traffic well, waiting for the ball to come to you, I mean, you got to meet that pass. I think Dylan needs to be a little stronger in that post area. Right down the lane. Oh. Oh, they're going to get Miller on the charge. Oh, offensive foul. Okay. Yeah, you got to jump stop there. They get an easy, uh, easy shot if you pull up and just. Well, the play before that, when Brendan was driving, he saw the defender in front of him. And he just pulled up and took a little seven-footer. Right. And they could have did the same thing there. Take a little runner, take a little pull-up, one of those instead of taking it all the way in. But you know, again, they've been going to the rim all year long. Nope. And there's, there's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good formula. Keep doing it. Well, early in the season, the beginning of the third quarter was a problem for the Indians. They solved that problem. They've got to absolutely start clamping down on the defensive end. I'm gonna get and a that's yeah, going to be an and one. It's going to be an and one. That is not what the doctor ordered. Yep. He makes this. It brings it. Down, makes it a 15-point game. And more, more, more of our depth coming back in. Four players coming back into the game. And I think Bethel, yeah, Bethel Park still only played six players so far. Indians have their five starters back in. We've got 3.39 left in the third. Nothing but net on the free throw. 45-30. And I think Bethel Park has their starters back on the floor too. And they, they drop into their 2-2-1 two, two, zone press. Although they fall back it's into very man. token. He's going downhill from there. Turn around jumper, boom. It's tough to stop that one. Absolutely. You know, he's 6'2", and he can elevate. And he can stop on a dime. No, he plays like he's 6'5". He yep. And Mills got him right across the bridge of the nose. Yes, he did. That's Mills' first foul. Well, Bethel's a good team. They weren't going to come out and, and just fall over. Uh, they're going to keep playing hard. It's a third team foul for the Indians again, just like the first quarter started. A lot of team fouls. None for Bethel Park at this point. That's Matthias at the line. That's knocking his first foul shot down. Got another one coming. That's Matthias with the two free throws. That gives him double digits on the night. Bethel Park in their man to man. They played, they showed zone that one possession. That was it. Miller, Miller for three. For three. And it's good. Nate Miller. He is just a pure shooter. Uh, can, can reach. Got another reach to the nipper and dimer there. Yeah. If he wouldn't have reached, that was. Yes. I was just getting ready to say that the Indians were playing some good defense on that yeah, possession. Yeah, let it go. Just defend, wall up. You know, keep your hands wide. He was dribbling. Was it going Lockout anywhere? Player was dribbling yeah, yeah. with his to his left, and the Indian, you know, passed that high screen, and the Indians player jumped out. Yeah. 
and stopped him, but he reached at the same time. He didn't need to reach. He was picking no, he up the dribble, and they had a double team right there. You already had him stopped. Oh, a steal by Dunbar, and we up he goes. We're going to have one here. And oh, he missed, he missed it. it. Oh. Indians run it down, though, no problem. Oh. They look to set. Boy, the student section wanted to go yes, crazy. Yes, they did. Well, I did too, to tell you the truth. I did too. Yeah. Nice, nice pick and roll, yes. Nice pick and roll. And we're gonna get a turnover. Blackhawks travel in the front court, or backward. That looked like Bob Cousy to Bill Russell on the pick and roll from the old days, right? Showing our age here a little bit. A little bit. And Aspinwall really, he got that ball and moved it to his left hand effortlessly and laid it in. That was not as easy as you would think. No. That, to take that ball, turn that his body, tough, and just yeah. make an effortless left-handed layup. Was a, definitely a tough they're, catch. They're going to get that one. Yeah. Number 11, Michael Mathias. Well, we talked about that momentum. Now it's starting it's to feel it go the other way, finally. Right. Yeah, they had it down to 15, and it jumped right back up to 20 again. They can just We're, score from so many different places on the floor and with so foul. many players. Pull up. Dunbar. It's good. Oh, back rim. No good. Good shot. Just oh. He doesn't take many bad ones. And this momentum seemed to turn a little bit when the Indians started playing a little better defense. That's a double and dribble. That's an easy, again, on the defensive end, that's what's yep. going to keep these guys, keep this lead. Number number three, Colton uh, Pfeiffer, just came in off the bench. One thirty-six left in the third, 52-32, Indians. Oh, oh that's a turnover. And the Indians turn it over. One of the first really bad passes the Indians yeah. have had in this whole game. And that was a not a good pass. A little miscommunication, maybe. Nice pull up. Elbow 15 footer off the back, controlled gets, by the Indians. Miller gets the rebound. One well, thing about comes this, Miller. Indi this Indians team. Dunbar looks to go in, but kicks. McCullough in strong. He's going to make it easy. And no get basket. Another charge. Another charge. I think he thought he could slide by to the left of the defender, but it, it looked it looked like that was a good call. I mean, it, oh, I think it was a good know, call. I think. Yeah, he tried to avoid him. Yeah, I mean, he stepped to the, He tried to get you know uh, shift his body to the left a little bit, but that defender already had his position. Yeah, I mean, I think when he went up, that's what he was hoping yep. he could do, but I would uh, agree. to no avail. That was absolutely the right call. I'm not sure why we're not counting here. He was within the guarding position. Whoa. That's, a, that's a nice now play. That was a tough shot. Yes. Dunbar. Boom. That's a beautiful follow he, through. Oh, he does. What a tough shot. Running, no, no backward to play with. And there's a big stop. Baccarello puts it into the into the seats so on a block shot. That gets the crowd going a little bit. Thirty-three point eight to go in the quarter. Indians nursing. If you can nurse a twenty-point lead, they're <laughs> nursing it. That's another turnover. And, the, the, and that was a wow. Okay. Wow. A foul. So that leaves us with 24.9 in the quarter. We'll see what the Indians want to do. Looks like they're set up in their four corners. I'm going to hold it. And the more clock that runs, the better for the Indians. Nice feed. Yeah. We're going to go to the line for two. 
I mean, that, that's all Miller. He caught, I mean, he made an athletic play on that far sideline to just catch the ball. That was. Period. You know, that was. A little was, high I outside. That was, I thought that was going into the seats. Then he got his composure, drove into the paint, did a really nice job. Nice dish to Jack, who got fouled going up for two. So, yep. see if we can knock these two down. First one rattles home. Yep. 8.0 to go in the quarter. That gives Jack 20 for the game so far. Him and Brendan McCullough in double figures. Brendan with 11. Second one's pure. Indians make a sub for the shooter so they can set up a full court press. Yep. Good job inbounding the ball. Uh, That's not what you wanted to do there. Yep. That's 16 fouls, yep. so going into the fourth quarter, they're gonna be in the bonus. Only a second and a half rolled off there. Hell, tough corner shot, and it was good if it went, but it didn't. So we've got the Indians up by 22, 56, 34, yeah. entering the fourth quarter. Well, you think about it, Bethel Park came out and tried to throw a haymaker to get back in the game, and, you know, it didn't work. I mean, they're, they're, so they're still 22 down, you know, and they gave it. That was their best quarter, and they still weren't able to gain on it. Um, still having some turnover issues and having some shooting problems, but, you know, they, they came out and they, were, they worked their tails off, but, again, they couldn't put a dent in it. That was their best. That was their best quarter by far. Yes, definitely their best quarter. They didn't take advantage of uh, what the Indians were giving, which was a couple more turnovers than they had given. Some missed shots, some breakdowns on the defensive end, and still a 22-point lead with eight minutes. Yeah. The clock is not Bethel Park's friend right now. Not at all. Not at all. But if you're the Indians, I don't think you change one thing you're doing. You keep running players out off the bench, fresh players the whole time. Keep playing hard, playing fast, and finish that's, this off. That's the formula they've used all year. They've used their depth all year. They get contributions from nine, ten players every game. And as we said earlier in the uh, in the broadcast so far, Bethel Park has played seven kids, and and two of those that come off the bench have been on for minimal minutes. So. Yep. Uh, they just don't have the depth to stay up, you know, to play that end-to-end -end game that the Peters Township likes to play, and it's, it's showing. So team, team fouls are 6-3 to three as we enter the fourth quarter. Both teams have four timeouts. And the Indians are going to try to draw Bethel Park out of their zone. Now Bethel comes out. They switch to man out of, out of the show zone. Mills in the corner, avoids a double team. You know, other than a dangerous pass. Other than a possession at the end of a quarter when we're holding the ball, this might be the longest possession of the year right here. <laughs> backside, oh! I mean, to almost work a full minute off the clock before we take a shot. We don't do that all that often. No, <laughs> no, that was very deliberate. Yes. And it's smart at the same time. I mean, you're going to get into I mean, some you games. Can that, burn, yeah. You can burn a minute off the clock. When you're up 22, right. that's almost better than a basket. Uh, you know, they're going to be playing, and, you know, they go into the playoffs, they're going to have to be able to control the ball at times. They're going to have to milk the clock at times. They're not going to be able to run up and down the floor, you know, every game against really t uh, tough competition. So, you know, executing here in the fourth quarter, I'd like to see, you know, see if they continue to do so. Ideally, you would have liked to see it end with two points, right. but one. at least they got one. Still got one. So the Indians are going to set up their full court man to man. Just trying to slow Bethel Park down a little bit. You know, an interesting dynamic for the Bethel Park team is that Dante Calabria is their coach. Uh, obviously, he was a, uh, a, a big-time college basketball player at the University of North Carolina. Uh, graduated from Blackhawk High School, 
uh, and he was coached by Johnny Miller, who was one of the you know winningest coaches in WPI history when he was a coach at Blackhawk, and he's in attendance at tonight's game. So yep, it's uh, interesting to see how things can come full circle. A really really good high school basketball player back in his day is now coaching at the high school level. So great to see. And he's got a good team. Three is up off the back iron, and it's going to end up a three-point play. Yeah. Just one of those unfortunate bounces. Yeah, you, you can do all the work and be in right position if the, sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way. You know, So as that's one of those cases. I mean, nobody nobody really expects the ball not to hit the rim exactly. at this level. Exactly. So be it. So number, number 10 at the line, Jack Bruckner. He gets a chance to cut the lead back down to 20. 6.39 to go. Rattles at home. McCullough just man-to-man -man token pressure. Just walks it across half court. McCullough goes in. He gets it uh, knocked out of his hands. He was going to kick it over he to was, Ziegler. He was. He was looking for Jake in the corner. Uh, Jake was setting for a three. We've seen Brendan do that all year long. The, the, the big change in his game this year has been his strength. He's gotten a little taller. He's gotten a little stronger. Oh, go up, Jake. Go straight up. Oh, oh and he got uh, got it right knocked Waited right out of long. his hands. Waited too long. Yeah, could have had a hand. Could have been in there and uh, could have could have been a foul. But he got to go up strong with that as soon as he got it. You wait in the paint. Helps coming. It's going to make it tough. That's a long three. Wow. Good rebound by Dunbar. Yeah, that was a low percentage shot. Yes, it was. Dunbar looks. Mills in strong with the right kick. Get it to go. Get it to go. Good move. Just didn't finish it. Stop the ball. Another. That's a good defensive good play block. by Donovan. Long three. And that's good. Sean Davis for three. That he, gives him 15. That's, that's a quiet 15. Yeah. Lead down to 17 for Bethel. There's Donovan for three. In Ooh. and out. Mills, Mills handles gets, it. Gets an offensive rebound. They're going to call. The, they're going to call the foul before the shot. That looked like he had gathered and gone up. I'm, I'm I mean, he looked like he was going up as soon as he grabbed yeah, it. Absolutely. I, yeah, I was a little, a little confused on that one. Referee was right in front of it. Fourth team foul. Indians a windbound. Looks like against that 2-3 zone. Let's see if the Indians can draw them out of their 2-3 zone. I think they show that, Mike, but they're kind of just match out of yeah, it. Yeah, they just uh, they switch into it after uh, yep. Indians take a timeout. Looks like Bethel Park has a player that's fresh into the game. Tristan Jackson, number 20. I don't know that we've seen him yet tonight. Haven't, no, they haven't gone very deep, that's for sure. No. So that's, uh, that leaves the Indians with three timeouts. Bethel Park still has four. Team foul 7-5 with 5.07 to go in the game. They're going to make a move. They need to make a move now. Indians with a seven-point lead and the ball, 17-point lead and the ball. You know, with a three-point, you know, field goal in, this, in basketball now, you know, you can you can get back into a game in a hurry. You can knock, you can string a couple together in a row and get a couple stops. You can you can well, you can get there. And you I know? hate to say it, with the with them in the bonus, that doesn't help. Yeah, exactly. Help that story. See what the approach is going to be here. We haven't seen the Indians go slow all year long. It'll be interesting to see how they manage this right now. Nate's right in the middle. Miller up. I mean, and that, he's going to get a chance for it. You know, that's incredibly easy. I mean, he was standing there literally with nobody within five feet of him, and he went right to the basket yeah. for a layup. I mean, how, you know, you come out of a timeout, and you go to a defense that allows a guy to stand at the foul line wide open. That had to be a missed assignment. I mean, the, the defense was so concerned about the ball yeah. out Near the center court line, that they 
They forgot about they defending forgot the basket. About... Nothing but net for Nothing Nate Miller. Nothing but net there, yeah, which he's... is usually what happens for Nate Miller when he shoots free throws. Yeah. Lead back to 20, 60 to 40. McCullough pestering. Nick Brown. Nick Brown. Long three off the front. Handled by Dunbar. Miller pushes. Aspen wall up. Yep, that's Mickey and Vaccarella. Good. That's Vaccarella there, Mike, I think. Oh, Vaccarella, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Thank a, you. Oh, that was a high forearm. Whoa. I don't know that, what that, that was. That was a call being out of control. Wow, and what a Dunbar finish. Dunbar hangs and what finishes. What a finish. It looked like we were going to play, you know, slow it down and milk some clock, but those last two possessions were back up and down the floor again, and that just puts the lead back up to 24. You know, I'm not going to say we're going to put a nail in the coffin yet, but, you know, no. that, was a, that was a big change of events right yes, there. Yes, it was. You know, that, Cla that, Calabria knew it, so. He had no, no choice but to call a timeout. No. You know, with the way we play, you know, and, and, and again, it, there are going to be games where you're going to want to manage the clock a little bit. But they, they're gassed. They can't get back on defense. They play five kids pr primarily the whole game. I just put I just put the foot to the gas and just go. You know, you played, you've played. you got to take advantage of the – the bench that you've been playing yeah, all year. It's, it's I your, mean, that's those guys strength. are those guys are fresh. Uh, you got to when, you, when you're rolling out yep. ten good players. No, nobody's. I. I mean, I can't imagine any of those guys on the bench right now are saying, "I need a blow." There's not much fall off, you know. I mean, you've got your you got Brendan and, and, and Jack have definitely been the leaders of the team all year long, and then you got the rest of those kids. At any one point in time, any of them could take a three and knock it down. Any one of them can, you know, drive to the bat, drive to the basket, finish at the rim. They all defend. They all go to the glass. You just don't have much of a drop off when you go to the bench. I mean, just put the foot on the gas and go. I mean, if they're if they're going to sit in a zone and not come out, all right, let's let's milk 20, 30 seconds off. But you got it's a fine line, Bob. You're right. It's a, it's a real fine line to switch your game up versus it's doing what you do. But what Just you do, do best. what you do well. That's a charge. That's a charge. Absolutely. You can see that coming from yep. Bethel Park, I think. Good job by by Ziegler. He certainly saw it coming from Bethel Park. Yeah. Three forty-eight to go. McCullough goes in untouched and misses a layup with Ooh. his right that time. Yeah, he. That's not normal for him. Nope, it's not. I think he was surprised how wide open he was. Oh, he was nobody near him. Just another bad shot by Bubble Park. Nice. And the Indians got a timeout, and we've got an injury, potentially. Well, I don't think there were some of the, there were some of the kids out on the floor. I don't think heard that whistle. Brendan had the ball in that corner. It looks like he was going to lose it. So, Joe, you know, Coach Ehrman, he just called a quick timeout. Yep. But that pass was made and caught by Cam Mills, and he went up with it. I don't think that he heard the whistle. And, obviously, the defender was there going to challenge him. So, you know, on an unfortunate little collision, he got up and he walked off. So, it looks like he's okay. Yeah, Mills did it. Fabulous job of tight roping, not only the baseline, but the, I mean, he was in the dead corner there. He was. To save that ball. And he got him, he's got his momentum stopped. Did you know, some toe tapping and uh, sent the ball to an Indians player. But before that, Ehrman, Coach Ehrman called timeout to save the possession. Well, that's just and, the kind of heads up play these kids have made all year though, when you think about it. You know, here's a teammate in a corner you could be standing watching, or you can make a cut to the basket and make a, make yourself available for a play. Yeah. And he, and he did the right thing. I mean, he made a hard basket cut, and, it, you know, if they don't call that timeout, he's going to the line for two because he would have got fouled. And on the flip side, if Mills doesn't show some athleticism, he travels, yeah. he lets the ball go off his hands, steps out of bounds. Yeah. Any number of things could happen before 
Or to, 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 well, I think to, Brendan's a defensive back in football, so uh, I think uh, I, th I think he showed a little bit of his footwork there. So the Indians inbound the ball on the P in Peters Township on the baseline. Now nope, they're going to move him over in front of the Indians bench. Okay. Down where I used to sit on the bench, Bob. Yeah, the way at the end. end. Yeah, left out, left end, right, left end, right. Yep. Ziggler in strong and gets it tapped. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. They're All saying right. it got tapped off of Ziggler, so we're going to the other end. 3.08 to go. 64-40. Indians full court. And with that pressure that we put on, they have to start their offense so far from the basket. And that was a long three. Yeah. Re offensive rebound. Bethel looks to run a, run their set. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, 244. They run that same high screen looking for a three. Layup goes up and the scoop is in. Michael Mathias gives him 12. McCullough probing the lane. He wants to take it in, and he gets the roll that time. Well, rolled around, hit the glass, rolled around again, and has just decided to fall. So good well, shot Indians, by Brendan. Indians will be more than happy to trade baskets at this point. Good defense by Ziggler there. Again, dig, good defense by Dunbar. Bethel can't get a shot off. Under two minutes. I think the Indians are starting to feel it. Yeah. Pull up off the front. Another offensive rebound. <laughs> Miller tips it away. Up come the Indians nice to Ziggler. Nice speed, nice speed. And he finishes the layup. It's that unselfish play, you know. 68-42. Guys will run and fill lanes when they know they're going to get a look and get a feed, you know, and Brendan's been feeding all year long like that. Dunbar goes ahead, and he finishes it. And it looks like Bethel Park has had enough. Yeah, I think so. 70-42 with 1.13 to go. It was... It has been a dominant performance by the Indians. Well, they've got, you know, they got another home game next Monday, I believe, to finish out the season, a non-section game against Baldwin. And it's my understanding when uh, the first round of the WPIL playoffs is the up the higher seed of the in, in, in a game will get a home game. So the Indians are going to get a couple more games here at home, and hopefully they can duplicate the crowd they had here tonight because it has made it much more of an electric environment for playing a high school basketball game. Uh, uh, it's been a it's been a great night. Yes. Great night for the Indians. Put another banner up on the wall tonight. Steal by Nick McCullough. And McCullough he scores. finishes. We got a couple other subs who haven't been in the game. Lucas Rust and uh, Sean Felker in the ball game now with Vaccarello, Nick McCullough, and Aspinwall. So we're under a minute. Gonna put another 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 uh, win in a, in a, another win in the win column. Yeah, uh, this has been a really really one of the better seasons we've seen around here. I'm not so sure when the last time Peters Township has won a, a section title in basketball. They've had some good teams in the past, no doubt. Go back to 09 when they won the title uh, before the pandemic, a uh, couple two years in a row with the teams that were led by Sammy Petrarca. You know, advanced into the playoffs and played some really good basketball, losing some really tough games to uh, Pine Richland one year and then Butler, Butler the following the next, year. Right. And, uh, you know, those were really exciting teams to watch as well, and they had some really good following. You know, the crowds were great, and, and now we got it back again. So it's great to have it back, and I just hope we can keep it. Absolutely. Well, that'll take the Indians to 18-3. and three. Which, as you said, I don't remember the last it's, time that uh, kind yeah. of a record. No. 
and a section title, which is the most important thing to me. Yes. Uh, that, yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's putting the first a real, thing you yeah, play so, for. Yep. You play, for, you play to win the section every year, and, and only one team in the section gets to do that. And for, for this 22-23 season, it's Peters Township. So congratulations on a great year. Couldn't be happier for the coaches and the players. I know how hard it is to, to accomplish that, and I know how much time and effort they put in. So that's kudos to the kids and the coaches. Great absolutely. Ball game. Boys, go celebrate a well-deserved uh, section championship. Well, we'll be back on Monday for a non-section game. And just a wonderful night of basketball here at AHN Arena here at Peters Township. Your final scores, Peters Township 72, Bethel Park 45. Thanks for joining us, and God bless.